This is a story from Victorian days from long ago. It's a story of intrigue, romance, and tragedy. We're here over Lake Michigan coming in low to Tycoon Alley in Lake Forest, Illinois. This is the Mayflower Mansion, home of the heirs to the Schwepp Soda Company dynasty. But this place has a sinister history. Here on the end of the south wing within the second floor master bedroom, something horrible happened. It was Charles and Laura Schwepp whose family was pampered by butlers, maids, cooks, grooms, nurses, governesses, and served by coachmen and gardeners. It was a place of many gala parties, including spectacular events where princes and princesses and dukes and duchesses would stay and be entertained. But now the house sits empty for decades, for it is said to be haunted by Charles himself. Let's go now to Rose Hill Cemetery, where in the Rose Hill Mausoleum is the elaborate family crypt of Shedd and the Schwepp families within the handsome John Graves Shedd Memorial Chapel. Hey everybody, I'm back with you. We're at the Rose Hill Cemetery Mausoleum today. Grand old place built a long time ago. I gotta give credit number one to Jerry Likas, who's got a book called Where Tour Buses Don't Go. He turned me on to this story. Anyway, it's about a family that owned a soda fortune. It's a name you've heard of. So let's go find their crypt. This is a very old place, dating back to the 1800s, and it's massive. It's not heated. It's very cold in here. In fact, we've got a blizzard going on outside. But what I find interesting in this part is there are these huge, they look like prison doors. Each one guarding a family crypt. This one's open. So nothing really crazy or abnormal, but I just, architecturally, this is just a wonder. So this story is about the Schwepp family. They were the, the soda barons. You ever hear of Schwepp soda? I think you'd find the name on refrigerators and anything to do with beverages. And it's kind of a creepy story what happened to their family. We're visiting right now, we're coming up on the chapel of the Shedd family. Now the Shedd family, John Graves Shedd, he was the president of Marshall Field in its heyday, Marshall Fields. He started as a stock boy with Marshall Fields and worked his way all the way up to president. Here we are in the chapel. It's a beautiful place. He was quite a philanthropist in Chicago. He, among other things, donated just over $3 million to build the Shedd Aquarium, which stands next to the Field Museum here. There you see the crypt of that family. 
the Shedd family and the Schweppes. Now the Schweppes married in. Their daughter married Charles Schwepp and thereby brought the two dynasties together. John Graves Shedd gave with his wife, their daughter, and Charles as a wedding gift an immense mansion on Lake Michigan. I see the doors are open. Let's go inside. Yes, there is the tomb of John Graves Shedd, a very famous man here in Chicago. And Mary Porter Shedd is right underneath him. There is a beautiful stained glass relief. It's breathtaking. It almost has a nautical feel, which was something that John Shedd was in love with, the ocean. Again, thus the aquarium. And here on the right, we have the Schweppes. Above them and below them are, there's a crypt below them and two above that are empty. Here's who we're gonna tell this story about. That's Charles, and there's Laura. And I see here there's a baby Schwepp. 1915. As we swing over to this side, we have Helen, Helen Reed, Helen Shed Reed Keith. And here we have Kersey Coates Reed. So they're all in here together. What's interesting is about this story, and it's kind of tragic, is that the family, you know, once they, they had some great times in this mansion. In fact, they hosted the crown prince and princess of Sweden, Gustavus Adolphus and his princess. And they danced out back on the eastern terrace. Ruth Page, who was a ballet dancer, entertained them. They were in the heyday. And other parties happened there, like Edward, Duke of Windsor, was there, he even slept on the, on the western end of the, the home's second floor, next to the master bedroom, where there was a tragedy that I'll tell you about. But tragically, in 1937, Laura, Laura passed away from a heart attack. And that's where the bad times started. Charles was very depressed and he had some business deals fail. And around four years later, the servants came to his room, the master bedroom, which I have some video of here, and they found a note on the dresser that said, I've been up all night. It is terrible. And there he was, he had shot himself in the head and committed suicide. Thus ending that family. And the kids that they have, by the way, they died without children. So there's, I believe there's no lineage to this family directly, to the Schweppes. When Laura Schwepp passed, she left the bulk of her $10 million fortune to her children. Charles only received $200,000. So along with those failed business ventures, it's thought that maybe the reason perhaps he committed suicide. The couple's daughter, 
Jean Schweppe Armour died in 1963 at the age of 48, and the brother John Shedd Schweppe died in 1996. And as I said, neither of them had children. So this house, that house sat abandoned for 46 years. 46 years. Just frightening because there was a story that they said that the new owners came and they spent a lot of money. It was a husband and wife. They got the place for a steal. They didn't finish the renovation after several years. They ended up, they, they heard ghosts. There was all kinds of footsteps and creaking. And I think at the end, what really was the bad thing that happened that made them move out was that she was upstairs in this bathroom, which I have video of, and there was, they could, she couldn't get in the bathroom, and the water was running, it was scalding hot, it was the shower, because they, the servants got in the, in the bathroom, and she was the first one in, and she, she looked at the mirror, and it said, I am here in the steam. So, they got divorced, not long after that. And from then, the house has sat vacant, even to this day, today, they're still trying to sell it. So, it's quite a tragic story. But it's a beautiful place here, at the Shed Chapel. And we hope that the, the Shed family is resting in peace along with the Schweppes. May their souls rest in peace.